In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, I grew up in a tiny village about 14 kilometers south of or west of Tiruvalla, that's where our synod is. And it's a farm community, rice farmers. And I was a small boy. You know, <laughs> thousands of times I watched people sitting on this handmade propeller and they'll be struggling hard day and night to get the water from the river into the field. It's all human energy. And when one gets tired and weary, <laughs> somebody else will take a place. Sometimes three people are on the same job. One on the top, one on the middle, one on the bottom. They're all just pulling these leaves down for the water to get into the field. I don't know if you understand fully or not. But the essence of this whole thing, watering a thousand acres of rice field, rest upon a few people using their human energy to do it to have the rice, the food, and sustenance. Well, take that to the Holy Church. We have millions of people around us, lakhs of people, the whole community, the whole village. They need to be fed, for Jesus said to Saint Peter, feed my sheep. How do we create this supernatural food, the food that makes them grow into the image of Christ, to understand the sacramental life, a spirituality that is not by our abilities, our strength, our decisions, but God, untouched, uncreated his life through the Holy Spirit working in us and changing us. This is true Orthodox faith. And we see that in the book of Acts. The disciples were trained for three and a half years in the best seminary you can imagine. But Jesus said, with all your knowledge, all your understanding, you cannot do it. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And they waited and prayed and the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they now were able to go and heal the sick and cast out demons and talk to people that needed to know God and show Christ, the healer, the answer, the savior. Is this not what you are called to do, we are called to do, the entire holy church is called to do? every member of the church. So, what is a problem? Well, to illustrate that simply, as I have done many times, now you hear my voice, the light is here, the microphone is here, and you are able to see it on television or your phone or whatever. It all has to have energy or electricity the power. But if that is disconnected, everything is dark, no sound, no light. So it has to become an emphasis for us continually that we live 
not by sight, but we see things that eyes cannot see. We live by the invisible power of the Holy Spirit. And the more we yield our life to him and depend on the Holy Spirit and filled with the Holy Spirit, we are able to do the work Jesus called us to do and be his authentic Orthodox Church in our generation. May the Lord bless you and lead you in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Amen.